post office, but here we are. You know, over the last number of years, the post office has seen declining revenues, even though the Congress is propping it up and the Treasury gave him $10 billion just last month. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, they sent out a note uh, over the last couple of weeks that warned they could not promise to deliver all the ballots in time to be counted because in certain states, uh, you are allowed to request a ballot just a couple of days before the election. And so they're going, we don't know that we're going to be able to count all this stuff. And now here we are where the Democrats are saying that uh, Trump is trying to sabotage the post office to, for a variety of reasons. And the Democrats are saying we're not going to let them. What's going on? Look, this is just another one of the Democrats' hoax to try and uh, cheat Donald Trump out of his rightful uh, votes. And basically, the Democrats started this problem. They were the ones that decided to go and do all-in, mail-in ballots. Uh, now you, you can tell that they're not all that confident about winning because what they're doing is they're trying to set up an alibi for if they lose, they will be able to say that Donald Trump didn't win legitimately so uh -huh. they can restart that resistance of the last four years only on steroids. It is really despicable. And I just wonder, since they've been promoting so-called peaceful protests, aka riots, if people can get out and protest outside the postmaster general's house, then surely they can go and lodge their ballots in person.